Hi guys, it's Ben here with my preview of Arsenal versus Liverpool, the final Premier League game for the Reds before Christmas. And it's an exciting one, a difficult one, one of the hardest ones we'll face all season, of course. Arsenal away, never an easy place to go. We had a terrible record at the Emirates before last season. And, uh, you know, it's obviously going to be very tricky at the Emirates tomorrow night. I mean, they're the favourites with the bookies. They're 7-5, to five, we're 7-4, to four. there's not much in it. We are one point above them in the league. We beat them 4-0 earlier this season. There's lots of pros and cons to both sides here. There's lots of reasons you could give to give either side the edge. Uh, and it's going to be, as far as I'm concerned, a very open, attacking, entertaining game on Friday night in front of the Sky cameras. I cannot wait for it. Um, in a way, it's kind of a free hit. Uh, in a way, it's not the most important game we'll face in the next sort of 10 days. You know, the, the games against Swansea, Leicester and Burnley, the ones we really should be getting at least seven, and to be honest with you, nine points from. This one, look, if we can win it, then we are in fantastic shape. We're putting some real breathing space between us and the teams outside the top four, especially if Spurs drop points. They got a tricky game at Burnley as well. So if we can get some breathing space between us and Arsenal, make it four points, that stands us in fantastic stead. That'll be halfway through the season uh, and a relatively decent position. Uh, not the position I want us to be in, but if we can go there and prove we can beat Arsenal, carry on this unbeaten run of 12 games now. I know there have been some disappointing results in there, but it's still a good, impressive unbeaten run with some really positive results in there. If we could just go and beat Arsenal in their own backyard, which I'm not going to rule out, then I think we've got reason to be pretty optimistic going into uh, you know, the, the, the busy fixtures that are going to come out on the back of that. Um, in terms of team news, I... I and team selection, I think I think we should keep it completely as it was at Bournemouth. I know that means leaving Sadio Mane out again, and I, and I love Sadio Mane. I think he's an awesome player. I think he's someone that you know gets into our best eleven if if you believe in best elevens. Um, but horses for courses and all that. I think in this case we're going to need a busy midfield again. We're going to need a midfield that's going to work back. Um, and you know, starting Alex Oxlade Chamberlain for me is the right thing to do. Keep continuing on that wide left. I mean. If, if you're asking me where I prefer Coutinho to play long term, the answer is in midfield. But away at Arsenal, um, I want him to be a bit more free to just roam, you know, stay on my left hand side, give Bellerin some problems, which he did a couple of years ago uh, in, the, in the nil nil. I think he, he really had him on toast in that first half, and Arsenal got back into it eventually. But I think Coutinho can cause some problems out wide. You've got Salah on the other side. What, there's no point trying to match up uh, Mane and, and Bellerin on, on, on that flank because Bellerin is just as quick. Uh, you, you've got to give you got to give him a tricky game against Coutinho where he doesn't know which way he's going to twist and turn. Uh, he can drift inside and and sort of leave that space there for Bellerin to kind of be tempted to roam and leave that space in behind. Um, I think. You know, we'll be programmed well enough defensively to deal with the threat of Bellerin down the right-hand side if we play Henderson and Vinaldum, real sitting midfielders, and just let the front four do their work with Oxlade Chamberlain kind of dropping up back and helping when he needs to. It, obviously, a lot of it will depend on whether Arsenal go three at the back or four at the back. Um, their fans kind of seem to be split on this. Um, I think the last couple of games they've gone with four, but Mustafi is back to fitness, so whether that means he'll just slot straight back in or whether they'll look to ease him back and perhaps not give him the start here remains to be seen. Obviously, they've been playing Monreal and Koscielny at centre-back up to now, with Maitland-Niles, surprisingly, getting a nod at left-back instead of Kalasanak. So, again, interesting to see whether they trust Maitland-Niles, the youngster, on the left-hand side of the fence against Mo Salah, who's been the Premier League's top scorer of the Premier League's one of, the, one of the best players in the league so far this season. Will they trust him to do a job on the Egyptian? It would be brave if they did. Would it be wise? I, To be honest, I mean, I know Wenger will know a lot more than me. To me, it would be naive. Um, but, you know, we've seen we've seen youngsters you know, come come of age in these sort of situations before, but I wouldn't have Maitland-Niles down on the left-back. I think when I've seen him play, he's probably more of an attacking midfielder or, or at least someone that can get forward, get into the box. But stick him at left-back, it looks like it's worked for them so far in a couple of games that he's played. Um, you know, Trent Alexander-Arnold isn't probably a right back, but you know he's he's been trusted there and went in that Old Trafford and did a great job. So you know, there's no reason Maitland-Niles can't do that for Arsenal. So very interesting to see how they line up. Very interesting to see if Jack Wilshere starts. Another man that's been lacking match fitness up until the last couple of weeks. He seems to be getting his rhythm back uh, with his first start in the Premier League for a long time last week. So he's back in business. Um, with Ramsey out, obviously they've got to start. You know, someone like him or Nene, I think Cockland's injured, so options aren't exactly uh, in abundance for the Gunners. And obviously they've got the devastating trio of Ozil, Sanchez and Lacazette, which I imagine they will all start, especially with the injuries they've got uh, in other attacking departments. So 
Very intriguing team selection on both sides. As I say, I'm going to go Mignolet, Gomez, Lovren, Clavin, Robertson, and then Henderson, Vinaldo, Moxley, Chamberlain, Salah, Firmino, Coutinho, with Mane on the bench, um, you know, as, as the main option. Lallana on the bench. Uh, probably still looking at Dan Ings and Dominic Solanke, but uh, it's just going to be such an intriguing sort of first 20-25 minutes. Is it going to be cagey because both sides know what they can do to each other, devastating on the attack, or is it just going to be flat out bang bang bang, heavy metal football if Klopp likes to call it. Um, if it's the latter, I really back us, I really do. I know Arsenal have got a lot of quality, but I think defensively they're, no, they're not that much stronger than us. I know we're, no, you know, we're not exactly Atletico like Madrid going, going backwards, but I think defensively in midfield we're a bit more solid. I think you know Henderson and Van Allen give you a bit more, you know, sitting and uh, breaking up play than perhaps Jacker and Wilshire. I'm not sure Jacker's got the legs. I'm not sure Wilshire is fit enough, and you know, just purely lacking match practice to be honest to be able to put in a disciplined performance. So that might be why they go three at the back, or it might be why they stick someone like an El Nene in there as well, just to mop up. Um, again, very intrigued, very excited, and as I say, if we lose the game. You know, Arsenal go two points above us. Do you really trust them to, to to push on from that? Not really, to be honest. Whereas, you know, we're on we're on a bit of a run, and I think if we look for drop points, we've got a nice little game against Swansea and, and then Leicester at home, back to back to kind of get us back to winning ways. Probably take us back into the top four, and then you know we go to Burnley on New Year's Day, and that's kind of the last one of of the big run of league games that we've got coming up. So. But if we do win, of course, it's, it's, it's party time. So it's an exciting one. And look, prediction-wise, I've backed us to win. Um, or in another preview that I did on, on someone else's channel, I backed us to win um, 3-2. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, but I think Coutinho is going to score twice for us. I think he's going to replicate that magic free kick from last season. And I think Salah's going to carry on his scoring run and get to 21 for this season. Um, so that's my prediction. I think we're going to win the game. I think it's going to be a great, entertaining game. Probably going to be nil-nil now. But guys, leave your predictions in the comments below. And I'll see you after the game. Make sure you've subscribed if you're new. And follow my other socials too. As Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I will see you after the game up the Reds.